Today, we're going to work on comparing numbers up to 100. The question is asking us which number is larger. When we compare numbers, we're going to make sure that we compare the place values. So the first number right here is going to be in the ones column, I'll put an O. And the second one here is going to be in the tens column. Let's do the same over here. The five is going to be in my tens column and the two is in my ones column. So when we're comparing number, we wanna look at the largest place value. The largest place value in these numbers are going to be the tens place. So there's a two in the tens place here and a five in the tens place here. So if I have two tens, two tens is equal to 20 and five tens is equal to 50. So what's bigger, two tens or five tens? Well, five tens is bigger than two tens, so 52 is bigger than 23. I'm gonna close that scratch pad and click 52. This question is also asking us which, one, which number is larger. So again, let's label our place values. This number just has one number. There aren't two. So there, in our ones place, there's a three, and we can assume that if there's nothing here in our tens place, that that is a zero. Over here, our seven is in our ones place, and our four is in the tens place. So let's compare our tens place value columns since those are the largest. What's larger, zero tens or four tens? Four tens is larger, so our number 47 is going to be the larger number. And I always like to think about this as the alligator's mouth opens up and eats the largest number here. So the largest number is going to be 47. So let's click that one. This one is also asking us for which number is larger. So let's open up that scratch pad and let's compare 34 and 69. The nine is in the ones place value column. The six is in the tens place value column. The four is in the ones and the three is in the tens. So let's compare the largest place value column. And both of these numbers, the largest place value column is going to be our tens place. So we have three tens and we have six tens. So what's larger, three tens or six tens? Well, six tens is larger than three tens. So our alligator here is gonna eat the larger number. The larger number is 69. Let's close that scratch pad and hit 69. Now let's continue on to which number is larger, six or 43. Let's open up that scratch pad. Remember here that there is no number in our tens place. So if there is no number in our tens place, that means it's zero tens and six ones. While six is the largest digit, it is not in the largest place value column. So let's look here at our four and our three. Our three is in our ones, our four is in our tens. So if we have four tens and zero tens, which one is going to be larger? Well, 43, four tens is larger. So let's close that and click 43. Ooh, this is a fun one, don't get tricked. This one says which number is smaller. The ones that we've been working on before were which ones are larger. So now we have to look at which one is smaller. When we look for the smallest number, we do the same thing. Let's label our place value columns. This one is a 10. This one is our ones. This place value is our tens. And this place value is our ones. So let's look. Seven tens and six tens. Which is smaller? Seven tens is 70 and six tens is 60. So which tens are smaller? In this case, 69 is smaller than 74. So we're still gonna make the alligator eat the larger number here, which is 74, but when we close our scratch pad and pick which number, we're picking 69 because it is smaller. This one 
is also asking which number is smaller. So let's pay attention to that. Let's mark our place values. Seven tens and two ones. Five tens, one one. Let's look, five tens or seven tens. Which one is smaller, seven tens or five tens? Well, five tens, oops, let's erase that. Five tens is going to be smaller than seven tens. So let's close that uh, scratch pad. Click the smallest number. The smallest number is 51. Again, which number is smaller? We have our tens and our ones. Tens, ones, tens, ones. We always start in that largest place value. In this case, again, it's our tens. So what's smaller, four tens or six tens? Well, four tens is smaller than six tens. So our alligator is still going to eat the larger number, but we click on 47 because it is smaller. Which is smaller? We have eight tens. We have six tens. Our ones and both of these numbers are the same. So what's smaller, eight tens or six tens? Well, six tens is smaller. Our alligator would still eat the larger number. Let's close that out and click the smallest number. Which number is smaller? Let's label those place values like we've been doing. Set our tens and our ones. Five tens here, four ones here. When we compare, we always compare the largest place value. The tens are larger than the ones. So let's check here and see. Seven tens or five tens? Which one's smaller? So our smaller one is five tens. Our larger one is seven tens. Alligator eats the largest number, but since the question is asking us which number is smaller, we close that scratch pad and hit 54. Our last question, which number is smaller? Let's label those tens and ones. Let's label the tens and ones. And again, we always compare the largest place value. We have three tens or one ten for the largest place value. Well, three tens is more than one ten, so 35 is larger than 15. So the alligator will eat the larger number, but again, this question is asking us for which one is smaller. The smaller number is 15. Correct. Nice work. Now you know how to compare numbers.